Here's a message to all the guys out there that feel like your wife is always prioritizing the kids over you. Now, let's be clear. You don't ask for much, right? You go to work, you work your bum off, you come home, the house is a mess, food's not always ready, she's already not listening to you, the kids aren't always listening to you, she's always siding with the kids. And, um, and when you do look after the kids, you have to do it exactly the way that she wants you to do it. And, and if you put a foot wrong, um, it's like hell hath no fury and that she feels violated beyond every single ounce of her fragile patience with you. And then you get told that you're angry and controlling and you just feel like you can't win. And do you know what? Maybe some of this stuff is true. Maybe it's not. This is just information for you. She does expect you at the same time to be some kind of unconditionally, perfectly loving father. And yet it's been kind of difficult to get a look in from, from the word go. You have been doing the absolute best you can with what you know about parenting. And I ne almost never advise people on parenting. It's probably the hardest job in the world. So it's such a reflection for who you are. Some men really feel like that they've lost their wives in the process of having kids. And, um, and there, it's hard to not see anything other than blaming the kids for that. Now, so what can we do on a positive step? What can we do? Well, first of all, it's unlikely true that she always prioritises the kids. I mean, is it really an out-and-out -out fact? That doesn't help us when we believe our thoughts are facts. If you can find one small example of her prioritising you over them, even in just the smallest thing, then, and you can see it's not true, then you can change the way you're looking at that thing. Even if she makes your sandwiches or gives you a kiss or looks at you, just one small thing. Uh, can open up that. Secondly, you chose to have kids. She hasn't done this to you. You're not a victim for having children. Um, you've, you've chosen this, so the path of the victim just never works. Third, what responsibility can you take um, for you to ask clearly for what you want from her? I mean, are you being specific and clear?